welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new here my name is emma and i'm so happy you clicked on my what's for dinner video i hope you like it we'll give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already our first meal this week i am making slow cooker swedish meatballs i took a 32 ounce bag of home style meatballs threw them in my slow cooker base a 10.5 ounce can of cream of mushroom soup two cups of beef broth a teaspoon of minced garlic a brown gravy packet and a couple of splashes of Worcestershire sauce and just gave that a good old stir, stir, stir. And then I put my slow cooker base back onto my Ninja Foodie base and cooked it on low for six hours. When there was an hour left of cook time, I just added a cup of sour cream and gave that a little stir, stir, stir. Then I popped the lid on and let it continue cooking for the last hour. Once the meatballs had cooked up, they were a little soft for my liking, so I decided I wanted to air crisp them. So I took the meatballs out of my slow cooker base and put them into a bowl. I put the gravy into my little gravy boat and then I added my air crisper basket and I added the meatballs back in and I air crisped them for 10 minutes at 390 and that was perfect. While the meatballs were air crisping, I just cooked up my instant four cheese mashed potato to go with the meatballs and here it is all served up and of course we had more gravy to pour over top if we wanted to and for a little color and freshness i just sprinkled some parsley flakes on top this was delicious And for tonight's dinner, I'm making smoked sausage Alfredo. You are going to need some smoked sausage, some onion, a bell pepper of your choice, some minced garlic, an Alfredo sauce of your choice, some baby spinach, some mushrooms, and some pasta of your choice. And I'm just gonna put everything into my slow cooker base. So I chopped up my sausage. I added my onion, I added my green bell pepper that I just diced up, and then I added about a teaspoon of garlic, the Alfredo sauce, and of course I added some milk to the jar to get all the rest of the Alfredo sauce out. And then for the seasonings, I'm just going to add some Creole seasoning and some garlic pepper. And I'm gonna pop the lid on, slow cook it on high for four hours. Because I was cooking this on high, I decided to cook my noodles separately because I didn't want them to get all mushy. Anyway, so I, when there was an hour left, I added the spinach and the mushrooms, gave that a little stir, stir, stir. And then when the noodles had cooked up to al dente, I put them in and just let it continue cooking for the rest of the cooking time. Stir, stir, stir. Once it was cooked up and delicious, I decided to make it a little bit more delicious by sprinkling some Parmesan cheese and then I broiled it at 450 for four minutes just to melt the cheese and make it even more delicious. And here it is all served up. I just added some crushed red pepper flakes. Delicious. For tonight's dinner, I put one teaspoon of chicken bouillon and a half a cup of water into my Ninja Foodie um, crock pot base. Then I put two boneless skinless chicken breasts in there as well and sprinkled them with some of this Creole seasoning. Cooked it on low for 10 hours. It is cooked now. I'm gonna use up a couple of things that I have in my fridge. I'm going to put this queso um, cheese on top of the chicken. 
and some of this pico from a barbecue that we had for my sister's birthday. I'm just gonna put that on top of the chicken, close the lid and let it cook for, or warm up basically for about half the hour. The queso and the pico has been warming up for about half hour, so now I'm just gonna serve them up. Keeping them as whole as possible. Chicken number one. This one kind of lost its salsa, or its queso, but that's okay. It's got enough. Voila! He's gonna serve it up with one of these little salad kits. The Caesar salad one is my favorite. And here it is, all served up. The chicken, the salad, and I got these to make with my soup tomorrow for my soup of the week video that's going up on Friday, but they just look so darn good. So we're gonna have that as well. Delicious. For the chicken, for our chicken pesto ciabatta paninis, I added about a quarter of a cup of chicken broth to my slow cooker base. I added one boneless, skinless chicken breast, a sprinkle of a garlic powder, and then I popped the lid on and I just slow cooked the chicken breast on low for 10 hours. And here, everything is that I'm going to use for my paninis. I have some ciabatta rolls. I have some mozzarella, a tomato, pesto, and we love onions, so I'm gonna add a little onion in them. My panini press that I'm going to spray with some extra virgin olive oil. Spray it, let it warm up for a little bit. And while that's warming up, I'm going to shred my chicken. And I'm gonna slice the mozzarella and the tomato. Chicken is done, so let's shred it. Chicken shredded. Time to spray my panini press. Done. Okay, everything is ready. So I'm just gonna put some pesto sauce on both sides of my ciabatta. Pesto is on. Now I'm going to do some chicken. Slice a tomato. And a big slice of mozzarella. And Onion. I'm gonna put that on my panini press. Ooh. Ooh. One down, now I'm gonna do the rest. These do not look very pretty, but they were definitely delicious. And here it is served up, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching my What's For Dinner video. I hope you liked it. We'll give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in my next video. Have a fabulous week. Bye, guys.